Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Token Post interview. Today we have invited the CEO of Qtom, Patrick Dai, and ask what Qtom is yeah. and the new release yeah. product, X86VM, which is their own virtual machine. Yeah. So how mm -hmm. did you get into the blockchain business? Yeah, so uh, for myself, I start, I joined the industry uh, since 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, I was still preparing my PhD degree uh, in the <laughs> Chinese uh, Academy of Science. So I was preparing my PhD and then I found the Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so interesting. So in two years, I dropped out of the PhD uh -huh. and uh, like a uh, full time in this industry. So I initially I started, I started from some like uh, uh, academic research and uh, I, found, I found out like the, the peer to peer network uh, with a rewarding system, the idea is 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 so revolutionary. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I jumped to the the industry. Yeah, <laughs> since two thousand twelve. Yeah, uh, two thousand twelve. That's like yeah, that's a super early. Yeah. No, I, I I don't think I've ever met anyone who's been in the business since yeah. two thousand twelve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Qtom. How does it work? Yeah. Uh, what is this? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so Qtom, well, we call it quantum. Yeah, quantum is more more more, more fancy. <laughs> yeah. So for for the quantum, yeah, we are trying to build is like, uh, uh, we we are not trying to like you know re reinvent the the wheels for the software. We are trying to build something based on the mature the technology, and we wanted to make it better. So that's the reason. Uh, for quantum, we are building the UTXO model. Ba basically, uh, we we build from the Bitcoin source code, and then we uh, we. Uh, like we port from the Ethereum virtual machine on the UTXO model, and we build a virtual layer. So by this, by this innovation, uh, we can make like uh, the Ethereum virtual machine working for the big, the whole Bitcoin ecosystem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's something we are building, and we. Are, I mean, that's something we already built it. Yeah. The, the idea, you know, it's not. It's a pretty not uh, like a totally new idea because uh, I think the first project have this idea is like the root stock, the RSK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, started by Diago uh, since 2013. He want to create uh, 2014. He want to create something uh, to make the Bitcoin network have more flexibility. But uh, I think uh, the, their project gonna release this year finally. Yeah, <laughs> but because they started very early. But I think Quantum is the, the, the first project to make the uh, smart contracts can be run on the uh, on the like the UTXO model. It's more scalable and more secure. And also, uh, unlike Bitcoin, like they are using proof of work and proof of stake. So for quantum, it's already working uh, proof of stake. Yeah. So because Bitcoin and Ethereum is uh, both in proof of proof of work right now, mm -hmm. so quantum is already in proof of stake. Yeah. So it's a combination of both Bitcoin's UTXO yeah. and as well as Ethereum's uh, smart contract and as EVM, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. What's the unique part of quantum? Yeah, so uh, I mean, uh, people always asking the question. So, <laughs> what what do you create for the whole industry? I mean, uh, we we did something uh, from technically speaking. I mean, uh, like we did something. We create a virtual layer. Uh, we can make the we can make the smart contracts can have more use case. Yeah, because like uh, the reason like uh, why we choose the UTXO as a basic transaction model because it's more scalable. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more secure. It's not a, unlike the Ethereum account model, like you can only do the transaction one by one. Mm -hmm. uh, after one confirmation, you can do another one. But for Bitcoin, like uh, it's, it's, we call it the UTXO, it's a stateless blockchain. Mm -hmm. So you can do the multiple transaction at the same time. It's have a better like a parallel uh, to process, parallel ability to process the, the, all the transactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the reason we choose the, all, all the Bitcoin uh, infrastructure as a basis, yeah. And also, you know, based on that is kind of infrastructure, right now we are supporting a new virtual machine, the mm -hmm. x86 virtual machine. That's what we are building today. So uh, the x86 wanted to create uh, some unique value for mm -hmm. the whole industry because uh, it's, gonna lower the, it's gonna lower the barrier for all the developer to develop smart contracts. Yeah. Everyone, they can use the majority programming language like a C language, C++, Python, Rust, like they can use it to do the programming uh, for the smart contracts. Yeah, not only limited by the solidity uh, like right now for the EVM. Yeah, so that's some unique value we create for the whole industry. Another unique value we create is like uh, we quantum is proof of stake. Mm -hmm. It's the first working 
proof of stake smart contract platform. Yeah. Of course, yes. So that's that's a unique value. The third unique value we are creating we were creating uh, creating is the quantum are you are having a better governance. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I mean, if you are like uh, pay attention to the blockchain industry, you will notice that we have no governance structure for the public blockchain. So that's a reason why we have Bitcoin Cash because we we need to fight to to upgrade the Bitcoin blockchain to one megabyte to two megabyte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So that's a reason we have Bitcoin Cash and. The that's a reason we have the Ethereum Classic because people cannot have a consensus. Yeah, so that's a reason Quantum are making a better governance. We create a decentralized governance protocol so people they can vote uh, to make the decision. Yeah, I think we are build, we use the smart contracts to govern to 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 make a better governance for the whole blockchain. So I think it's more uh, it's it's another unique value, a very innovative idea for the whole blockchain industry. So I noticed you mentioned a little bit about the decentralized governance protocol. Could yes. you give a little bit of explanation about it? Yeah, okay. So uh, the basic idea and the initial purpose for the decentralized for the DGP is we uh, we wanted to involve more party uh, when you upgrade your blockchain. Mm -hmm. So uh, we wanted to uh, we wanted to design a mechanism for people to make a decision. Mm -hmm. I think that's a huge challenge for the whole blockchain industry right now mm -hmm. because we have no mechanism for achieve consensus on how to govern on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically Satoshi disappeared. So <laughs> we have to fight to make uh, to upgrade the, 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 the Bitcoin blockchain. Yeah, yes, and, yes. and, uh, and uh, like Vitalik got a very huge influence on to make a decision for the whole uh, Ethereum network. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we wanted to avoid the problem in the future. So the DGP is like, a, it's a, we design a few smart contracts, like we put the initial parameters of the blockchain, like the block size, uh, like the gas price, the gas limit uh, on the block on the smart contracts mm -hmm. yeah so the smart contracts are monitoring are, are, are like a monitor for the blockchain so when the smart contracts detect like oh the block size is too small or full of transactions then uh, the, the, the the coin holder they can make the proposal mm -hmm. uh, to the smart contracts and then people can vote then like uh, if the voting is yes we wanted to uh, upgrade the blockchain from two megabyte that's our current block size for quantum to four megabyte then uh, the network Work can be upgraded like uh, automatically, so you do not uh, you you can avoid the the future uh, forks oh, like yes, yeah yes. hard fork or something like that. Yeah. So, so through, that's a basic idea. Yeah. So through voting, the users are able to manage the blockchain parameters, right? Yeah. The the all the users they can make a decision for the blockchain uh, pr parameters. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also the voting uh, come from many party because the smart contracts can assign like uh, the the voting power. Uh, for for all the uh, for the coin holder, mm -hmm. uh, maybe sometimes you know the the blockchain upgrade cannot be only decided by the coin holder because yes, uh, yes. there are so many like interests uh, together in the blockchain ecosystem like the coin holder, uh, even the exchange platform, mm -hmm. even what is a service provider, the core developer, uh, the the like some other like people, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe even in the future some of the regulator, yes, yeah. Yes, so they they need to involve with the voting together. So we so the uh, DGP is more like okay. We design the voting like a uh, the, the voting like a mechanism for all you guys. Yeah, if you want to vote, okay, you vote together, mm -hmm. and then after the voting results, we can upgrade the blockchain. Yeah. Sounds very good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. now let's move on to today's event. Today okay. you're announcing the big release of X86. Yeah. yeah. So could you give a brief explanation about it? Yeah, so uh, the x86 is uh, like uh, the, uh, the it's uh, like a reference the the inter the, the inter like uh, the classic like the uh, the classic like uh, x86 uh, mm -hmm. computer architecture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, being it's a uh, it's an uh, architecture being used by every modern compu personal computer, mobile phone, even the internet device. Mm -hmm. It's all start, it's all like uh, the, uh, a lot of all the device, uh, they are supporting the like the x86, like the standard uh, in, the, in the modern, like uh, all the processor, the CPUs, all the processor. So that's like uh, being widely used, yeah. So we are using the name to, uh, to because we have some connection, we have some like connection with the, all the uh, modern like a uh, pr uh, processor, mm -hmm. so that's a reason why we uh, use a name, like a name of the new virtual machine, the Quantum X86. Yeah. So the X, uh, what the X86 are trying to do is like uh, 
uh, we wanted to create a new uh, email, uh, uh, like a new like compiler and a, a new like a virtual machine, mm -hmm. a new like a quantum like a virtual machine operating system mm -hmm. for all the dApps in the future. Mm -hmm. So people will find it super easy uh, to use the C language and the C++ language to write the smart contracts because people can find the, uh, the standard library. It's, it's already there and all the mature compiler, all the mature like all the debugger tools, all the tools chain. So it's gonna be easier and have a, a bigger ecosystem than the Ethereum virtual machine. Because the Ethereum virtual machine is very young. I mean, it's very innovative, but it's far from the perfect. Yeah, mm -hmm. because it's a very young virtual machine. And it's some, uh, you know, you know, traditional software development industry like the x86 have a bigger bigger uh, much bigger ecosystem mm -hmm. with all the mature technology mature tools so I think that can bring a uh, more like a developer to the whole blockchain industry not only to quantum yeah mm -hmm. to the whole blockchain industry we're gonna have more like a uh, like a more talented developer they, they will find oh it's so easy to write some dApps to write some smart contracts on blockchain yeah oh. so that's the main uh, the, the the main like uh, direction quantum wanted to do for the x86 yeah so it's gonna make the job of developers much easier and bring in much yeah. more developers right? yeah it's gonna bring all the more, all the traditional developer mm -hmm. to the blockchain industry yeah so let's move on to some current issues uh launched in last february the satellite cubesat yes it yeah. was a revolution so you yeah. started it the project space chain yeah so can uh, you show I, me i mean it's not the uh i mean <laughs> not not i started the project i'm uh, only the technical advisor <laughs> yeah yeah so can you surely yeah. explain about space chain yeah. and what you want to achieve through that project yeah uh, I mean, I cannot like uh, speak a uh, represent uh, space team, but uh, as I know the uh, the space team team, and also like uh, we, uh, I'm, I was giving them some like technical advice on the blockchain part. Yeah, so I think the uh, the initial idea for the space team is like you know the core idea behind the cryptocurrency is like we want to have decentralization. Yeah, we want to have peer to peer network. Mm -hmm. That's the core idea mm -hmm. behind the Bitcoin, behind the Ethereum, behind the Quantum. Yeah, and uh, for Quantum. You know, we had we have the chance like we uh, quantum is a proof of stake blockchain. Mm -hmm. So e even in the space, you can do the staking. So that sounds very cool, very sexy. <laughs> yeah. And also another idea is like uh, you know uh, the reason why we wanted to support this kind of stuff because you know the blockchain is a, is a very new, very revolution uh, revolutionary mm -hmm. industry. Yes. And the space is a, is something like uh, uncertain. Is something like uh, is something very cool. Something we, yeah, something we needed to uh, spend the the whole lifetime <laughs> to do the to do to do the, uh, to make the efforts yeah. Yes. So that's a reason you know I saw some project okay they say oh I wanted to combine the uh, the blockchain with the space technology mm -hmm. together. I think that's a, the, that's a coolest thing in the world yeah. I mean yeah. I can't agree with you more. <laughs> yeah. So that's a reason we wanted we want to say okay then let's do a quantum a quantum, uh, quantum space node uh, yeah a quantum node in the space yeah. I mean people may think it's crazy you know <laughs> people may think oh yeah, it's crazy it's ridiculous but you know all the innovation come from the crazy part yeah of course, of course all yeah. the innovation you have to do something ne no one did before yes. yeah so that's a reason say oh that's a reason we say okay let, let's just do it yeah and uh, because it's a reminder for the, all the people live on the earth like okay there's a note in the space mm -hmm. it's like a blockchain note in the space yeah so i think it's really meaningful mm -hmm. yeah so finishing with the aforementioned space chain your second roadmap, roadmap has ended yeah uh, where are your future plans and are you seeking partnerships in Korea? Yeah, so uh, right now we are focused on, uh, we, uh, for, we are, I mean, for the firm of the foundation point of view, we are mainly focused on all the technical innovation. Mm -hmm. So today, I mean, we uh, we present the, the first the demo, first the prototype for x86, mm -hmm. and we're gonna continue uh, continue to develop, uh, make it uh, become more, more mature. And also today we did another presentation on the Quantum X. Mm -hmm. The Quantum X is the Quantum Enterprise version. So the Quantum X gonna have a very high TPS, maybe more than one thousand the transaction per second mm -hmm. and it's like a, it's like a more like a flexible uh, more flexible like a con uh, consensus algorithm yes. so it's gonna be a very strong competitor I think for the U uh, we compared with the EOS yeah and also it's uh, it's also compatible with the Ethereum virtual machine for the quantum X so mm -hmm. it's gonna be very very useful for all the enterprise use case yeah so that's the technical things we are focused right now and also for the business development work yeah we are talking 
yeah, I mean, last week I came to Korea. Mm -hmm. So we are talking to some partners here. Yeah, we wanted to bring some like a superstar, some like a, uh, some digital content company uh, to like build them, uh, some bigger, big decentralized application on mm -hmm. quantum. Yeah, we wanted to attract more people to the quantum ecosystem. And also uh, we are talking to uh, a lot of exchanges in Korea. Mm -hmm. So we want to make the QRC20 become a new standard for all the big exchange in the mm -hmm. world. Yeah, so that's uh, the, the business team they are working on that side. Yeah. So I wish the best for your company. Yeah. So finishing up our interview, do you have any last comments for our audience? Yeah, I mean, okay, the blockchain is uh, it's had, uh, it's already six years, but I think the blockchain is uh, is uh, f uh, for sure is more than six years in the future. I mean, it's uh, gonna last ten years or twenty years. So mm -hmm. we are just at the very beginning journey of the exciting part of the blockchain. So I think you should keep your attention to <laughs> blockchain industry and keep your attention to quantum. Yeah. So Patrick, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Patrick Dai, the CEO of Quantum. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Okay, I know okay. you're a busy man, but... Yeah, yeah.